Think it. Make it. Trade it. More than a trading platform. We welcome you to visit us at www.prodigiorts.com. Hello and thank you for joining us. This is a tutorial on how to create multi-chart layouts in ChartTrader Pro within the Prodigio RTS platform. Once you have logged into the platform, go to the top of the screen and select the ChartTrader Pro tab. Now that you have the ChartTrader Pro window open, you're going to notice that the order management window is also open at the bottom of the screen. We're going to minimize this simply by double clicking on the ChartTrader Pro tab. To have it reappear, simply double click it again, and there you have it. But for today, let's keep it down and minimize this window so that we have a better view of the charts window. And let's go over to the right side of the screen here where it says new charts. I'd like to create a four panel multi-chart layout. So let's go ahead and click on the new chart button four times. One, two, three, and four. And now you can see at the top of the screen here, we have four tabs corresponding with the four charts that we just created. Let's go ahead and right click on one of the chart tabs and select the floating option. Once we select the floating option, you're gonna notice that the window is gonna pop up here. And as you see, this is a floating window. When you grab it and you move it around, it's now floating in front of the other window. Now what I'd like you to do is go to the main window again and right click on all three of the remaining charts and have all three of those charts floating as well. All you have to do is right click on the charts tab, scroll down and select the floating option. Now that we have the last one floating, you can see that we're floating it around and you may wonder where are the other three charts. The reason for that is we have this main window here is blocking our view of the other three charts. So let's go up to the right hand corner and minimize the window. And here goes our four charts that are just simply overlapping each other. So we can go up to the upper area of the windows, click and drag to move them around. Our objective here is to have all four of these windows come together in one of the four windows that we see here. And how to do that is you see this area where it says chart, this blue header, you have to click and drag from the blue header and you simply just click and drag it into the next chart window. As we do this, you're going to notice an outline of the chart that you're clicking and dragging into the new window appear. And it's real important that you do not depress on the mouse as you click and drag, because if you do so, you are gonna have the pleasure of starting all over again. So let's avoid that as much as possible. Before we go ahead and drop all four charts into one window, I'd like to show you how to identify the placement of the chart by using the outlines. So let's go ahead and maximize this window and select one of the chart tabs, click and drag it in towards the center of the window. And as we do that, you're going to see the outline of the new chart appear at the top of the window. So if I were to drop it here, it would take up the upper half of this particular window. And if I drag it over to the right hand side of the screen, now you're going to notice that the rectangular outline is vertical. And if I drop it here, it would end up on this side of the screen. So let's go ahead and drop it here. And there you have it. Now we have chart one and chart two. And now we can customize our chart sizes by bringing our pointer over top of the border. And when the pointer turns into two separate arrows, pointing in either direction, that's when you can click and drag and size the window to your liking. Now let's size down this window here and grab the other two charts that are floating behind it and bring those two charts into this window. And remember, when you click and drag these chart windows from one window to the next, it's very important that you understand you have to click on the blue header area first, then drag it into the next window and always keep your eye on the outline of the chart that you're dragging into the next window so you know where it's going to land. And now you see we have three charts within the one window, so let's go ahead, click on the blue header in the other chart, and bring that one in as well. As I click and drag this chart into the next window, I already know going into this that I want to see four charts within one window, and I want to see them all equally taking one quarter of the window. So you could see that if I had the outline like this and I were to drop it, it's just going to make another tab. But if I bring my mouse up as I'm dragging it, it's only going to take one half of this section of the window. So I'm going to drop it right here. And now I have two 
on the left hand side and two on the right hand side as well but they're in tabs so all I'm going to do here let me maximize my window first I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the tabs click and drag it I don't have to float it I can just click and drag it and then I can size it the same way it is on the left hand side of the screen you can pretty much just arrange it however you like so I'm going to go ahead and drop it here at the bottom of the screen and there you have it we have now chart one chart two chart three in chart four all within one window and remember we can go back here and size them however we like now let's go ahead and enter some symbols in so we can see how the layout looks with all four charts active and now that you have them all laid out in front of you you may want to resize the charts take one chart away or maybe even replace one of the charts with a quotes list which you can actually do also now that we have completed the task of creating this four multi chart window we can actually toggle between the main platform window where you have complete access to 